Welcome to my lecture online. Here's our second example of how to figure out the differential equation given the general solution. Now this is a little bit mysterious until you realize, well, wait a minute, if you take this by itself, this is the distinct portion of a general solution of a differential equation if we have a double root or a repeated root that is real. Then if we rewrite this a little bit, if we write this like this, y is a function of time is equal to c1 plus c2t times e to the 0t, then we realize, well, the repeated root is actually equal to 0. Then we can find the differential equation by finding the characteristic roots. We can say that root 1 is equal to root 2, which is equal to 0. And then the characteristic equation becomes r times r is equal to 0, because in this case, r can be 0 in both cases, or r squared is equal to 0. So since this is our characteristic equation, this then lends itself to finding the original differential equation. Notice the y prime term is not going to be there, and the y term is not going to be there because we don't have that as part of our characteristic equation. The only term that's left is the y double prime term, and so this becomes y double prime equals zero, and that is the differential equation, which gives this as the characteristic equation, which means the two roots are the same and equal to zero, which means that this then is the general solution to this differential equation. And that's how it's done.